There you are. Okay, I'm back. It is indeed snowing, believe it or not. I I I don't believe it because it was uh it was 60 yesterday. Okay, there's a hood for a Chevelle back there. There's uh, my mom's lawnmower I bought her last year. Yeah, this this house is uh, it's falling apart. I don't know if you can see it here or not. Let me roll the window down. Uh, not really. There used to be a. I think I may have filled it in. There used to be a big crack right here. You can kind of see down there at the bottom. There used to be a big crack in here because right behind us is a cement plant. And they blast every uh, every day. So the house has been shifting for, well, however long it's been here, which is, uh, what year did they build it? 56? 50, 58. I think it was 58. I think that's when they built the house. And uh, so it's been shifting every day when they blast since 58. And the, the house finally said hell with it and the floor kept collapsed. And uh, so the previous owner of the cement plant was um, Lone Star company out of Texas and the same thing happened to this house right here they bought them a new house but now it's owned by uh, well it's, it's 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 spelled Buzzy Unisim it's Italian so I'm sure it's probably Bootsy or something like that um, and yeah they're they're like shoot whatever so the house is now useless. So I moved mom in with me. Um, technically, I own her house too. She put put it in my name years ago. So when she gets old, we don't have to mess with it. Which she's old now, and I may die first. So who knows what's going to happen? But anyway. So that was uh, that was where I grew up. It is now a, uh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a derelict, uh, soon to be collapsing on itself house. It, it is good, it's out of town. It isn't good, however, that the neighbors are fucking assholes. Um, I guess I just got rid of my, uh, PG rating there. The neighbors have nothing, well, one specifically have nothing better to do than record us for everything. Um, I had some cars out there because, well, I'm a car guy. And uh, two times they've had cars I've had out there towed away and hauled to the junkyard because the plates were expired. Well, of course the plates were expired. I've been working on them for years. But apparently you cannot have cars on your property, even out of town, that are not plated. In this poor house this thing's already been restored once and uh, it's it's in the process again or either that or it's just falling apart I don't know but um, this used to be a uh, general store right there that was the general store I used to ride my bike to I miss general stores we are now coming up through DePaul campus um, which Pretty much the entire town of Greencastle is the DePaul campus now. They've taken over everything. Um, there's some, there's some, there's some over there. Next block over. Normally, well, not, not so much anymore, but it used to be that all the cars around here would be like Ferraris, Saabs, Beamers such it's, it's getting less like that until parents weekend 
parents weekend you see all the uh, multi hundreds of thousands of dollars cars coming out and, and as you see they just kind of walk wherever they want maybe they do need that uh, speed limit sign there's uh I'm not even sure what that is anymore it used to be the performing arts center yeah it is performing arts center and there's a new building I haven't even seen yet I don't come over this way very much Lots and lots of fraternities and sororities here. Greek life is very important. Because, you know, that's just how it is when you're at an expensive-ass college. The going rate for DePaul right now is about 45000 a year. Which contrasts sharply with the rest of town, which doesn't even make 45000 a year. East College, that used to be the only college building back when it was Asbury College. There's uh, Sigma Chi. Yeah, that's Peefy, isn't it? Yeah, Pi Beta Phi, otherwise known as Peefy. And there's Sigma Nu. They lost their house for many years because they cut all the pipes in the basement and had a uh, canoe party in the basement of their old house. This used to be the junior high. It is now uh, condos. That's where I went to junior high. That's the murder house. That's what everybody calls it. It's where uh, Minnick killed, uh, I can't remember her name now, but he, uh, he took a long time to kill her. He, uh, he did very, very many nasty things involving uh, curling irons and uh, things. This used to be an IGA up here, right there. That used to be the IGA, now it's a homeless shelter. That tells you how bad the difference is between the uh, classes of people here. You've got the people who work at DePaul and then you've got the people who are living in a homeless shelter in a, in a town with a population of 10,000 because people here are just damn poor. Granted, it's not as bad as some of the places I've seen on my way to my place in Oklahoma. Oklahoma looks like it was hit really hard. We have our first brewery coming in. This used to be the Napa store until recently. And now you may be able to see the big tanks and oh, it's all steamed up. That is our first brewery. So we are going to have micro brews. I'm sure it is mainly going to be DePaul students going there. And here we have our obligatory uh, don't tread on me flag. Got to have your tea baggers here. Got lots of those, unfortunately. And there's a courthouse. It's okay as far as courthouses go, I guess. Uh, there's some restaurants. Net ugly thing down there. I don't know if you can see it on the video or not. With the blue stickers on the windows. That used to be my bike shop. Now it is Remax Real Estate. long nothing around here lasts long I do want that tractor though over here on the left is the Putnam Inn that's where you go for the uh, bacon buffet on the weekends and we finally got a gun store here in town again we had one years ago but it went away 
gas has gone up again. It is now $1.89 a gallon. In our horrible little liquor store. There's a muffler connection, auto repair. I used to work there. And up here is where I vote. This is the Putnam County Museum, which used to be Kroger. Still looks like a Kroger. So I'm just kind of driving around at the moment. I think, try to think of anything else I need to uh, discuss. Um, we've already gone through the uh, covered bridge down here, so I don't need to do that again. Today is Super Tuesday. Uh, feel the burn. So I'm waiting for seven or eight o'clock whenever the uh, returns start coming in. To see how everything's going. This is the Fairway Restaurant. This is where I used to eat breakfast a lot when I had money. Over here is Edgelea Drive and the Windy Hill Country Club. It's uh, not so prestigious anymore. There's the uh, there's the fairgrounds. Guess I'm gonna have to speed up. I got somebody on my ass. away brakes went out the truck had been sitting for a year apparently and rusted through the brake line so me being me I'm one of those obnoxiously honest people I uh, rolled the window up there I told him I'd fix it for him because I just you know that's just the way I am so I told him I'd fix it for him so I had it towed to muffler connection back there where I used to work and they gave me an estimate of $700. I'm like, WTF, I sold it for $900. i am not going to spend $700 to fix the brakes. Well, apparently it wasn't just a rusted line. It was everything. Absolutely everything. So, I brought it back to my house. I drove it back to my house with uh, no brakes. Um, the best part was, not only did the brakes go out completely when he was driving it, one of the back wheels locked up. So, found out later what that was. But, until we found out what it was, I was perplexed. Um, so, got it back to my house. Crashed into the Volvo when I was trying to stop. And, uh, called my neighbor. Well, I can't call anybody. I don't have a phone. Um, tech, I sent a message on Facebook to my neighbor who came over the next day and we started tearing it apart. Well, he started tearing it apart. I basically paid him to do all the work and I stood around and supervised. And uh, found, uh, they were gonna sell me calipers for the front, wheel cylinders for the rear, um, brake line, brake shoes, brake pads, you know, basically the whole thing. And uh, the one that was busted was the for the right front caliper 
kind of goes along the firewall up over the transmission and that's where it, that's where it rusted through so we replaced that I bought new uh, bleeders for the calipers and they managed to get him um, the kid next door and his dad are the ones that worked on it and they managed to get the old bleeders out of the uh, out of the calipers put new bleeders in and uh, so then we went and took a look at the back well the reason the uh, back wheel was locked up was because the uh, brake shoe had come apart and had wedged itself in there apparently on top of itself several times and locked up the back wheel um, came apart because the wheel cylinders were leaking and uh, one of them had exploded that would be the one that the wheel was locked up so I got new wheel cylinders and I got new brake shoes well then the lines wouldn't come out of the wheel cylinders so new lines on the back so got all that put on and was bleeding the brakes pedal felt really good bump 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 blew the uh, main brake line to the back so we got to replace that too um, in, in this whole process I also had to go buy an impact um, I, I have a snap-on air impact um, it's like a 600 foot pound one I have no idea where it is it's it's in one of the storage units that I've probably lost by now so I went and bought a Porter cable electric one and uh, I'm gonna turn up here so going way farther than I wanted to go um, so I had to buy that so we could get the wheels off. We couldn't get the wheels off. Um, even with my fat ass standing on the uh, standing on the uh, four-way, we couldn't get the uh, wheels off. So I got the impact, got the wheels off nice and easy. And uh, this used to be a church burned down a couple years ago. It's for sale for some ridiculous amount of money. I think it's $45,000. It's uh, two acres. It's like whatever. But it's on a highway. Yeah, you can see how busy this highway is. And how uh, in town it is. So, anyway. So I got all the brakes fixed on the, on the truck. Guy came to pick it up. And he, uh... He picked it, oh, I had to put gas in it too, um, so it was out of gas. So, all in all, I had 400, 500 into it, and uh, of course I had told him that I would fix the brakes, so he didn't give me any money. So, all in all, I ended up making $400 on the truck, but of course I didn't actually make that because I had 1200 in the truck. So, I lost, basically I lost a shit ton of money. Um, the only good thing that did come out of it is I did get some usable cash, briefly. So I, I did get kerosene for a few days and we got enough food to last for a week or two. And uh, I got to pay the neighbor kid some money. Um, he always needs money. He, he mows my yard during the summer too. He's a good kid. I took. I just recently took them up to. Uh, oh, where the hell was it? Somewhere up by Chicago uh, to pick up a four wheeler. It's a uh, got off Craigslist or eBay or some some place. So, so some reasonably rare Honda uh, quad type thing. It was pretty cool. It's faster than hell. So they paid me a pretty good chunk of money for that. I, of course, you would have done it anyway, but they uh, they put gas in the truck and the Suburban and uh, paid me money. So so I tried to pay the kid pretty well, but I had a hundred saved back for him, and then the back line broke, and I ended up only having sixty five dollars to give him. So. He only got $65 for doing a complete brake job on a Chevy truck. I'm, uh, as soon as I as soon as I have an income again, I'm going to pay him more because I, I don't like ripping people.
the lock one way or the other. So we'll uh, we'll get it taken care of one day. But uh, yeah, they live right next door. So anytime I need help or anytime they need help, we just kind of you know get with each other and go, hey, I need some help with this. Okay. So anyway, that's pretty much all that's been going on in my life. Because I don't do anything, I don't go anywhere, I got no money, so, and uh, not a whole lot of homesteading I can do at my place in town with no yard. But, I, like I said last time, I try to do these about once a month, so you know I'm still alive, I haven't killed over from a heart attack yet. Um, which I may, have, I may have had a small fourth one, I'm not sure, but uh, I just know it took uh, six nitro to get me functional again that day. Anyway, um, hoping to get my bike shop open back up in the middle of this month. Um, so I need to get a place for it. And I'll have to do a lot of moving and a lot of building and a bunch of crap. So there may be some videos for that if anyone has any interest at all. Um, otherwise, I have yammered on enough now. It's got to be a half hour. That I've yammered on, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna end this now because that's just way too long. Um, in the meantime, go check out some other cool uh, some other cool channels that I watch. Uh, Icky Can his his uh, his channel is pretty awesome. Um, I watch Wrangler Star every once in a while, but I don't like watching channels of people that have money. You know? They have money. I'm poor. I, I don't like being reminded that I'm poor. Um, Let's see who else. Ozark off grid is that is that right? I'm driving, so I can't look any of these up. Um, Ozark off grid family. Um, who else do I watch regularly? Troy Boy, of course. Um, let's see. Well, that's all I can think of at the moment, actually. I'm, uh, I'm not very functional sitting in my house all day not doing anything so oh tiny tiny's off-grid something um tiny's off-grid cabin tiny's off-grid house uh, I don't know. clubhouse that's it tiny's off-grid clubhouse um those are the only ones i can think of so go watch those i'm going to end now see you guys later